All right, you found us again here on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 YouTube tropical update. We're here every day in the afternoon, a little bit after four o'clock central time in the US, and we're going to dive in and talk about what's happening in the tropics. And again, it's it's been a little unusual stretch for the last couple of days to be pretty much at the peak of hurricane season as far as expected activity goes and find ourselves very quiet overall and an area or a couple areas that have really been quiet for much of the season are the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. And again, no complaints here about that, but this is good again continues to be a spot where for some different different reasons sort of throughout the season it's been happening, but a lot of that being the upper level winds just not really helping anything to form. And then it's also just having trouble getting anything in the Atlantic to travel into these regions as well. Again, I'm not complaining. It's just sort of an unusual observation overall as far as what we're dealing with. So we've zoomed all the way out. This is the coast of Africa, and this is definitely the time of year when the storms are forming off of uh, on the coast of Africa, and then they just kind of roll off into the Atlantic. And then that's when they sort of hold their selves together and then they become even more organized and sometimes they develop into tropical cyclones. Well, that's the pattern that we're finding ourselves in right now. And a little bit of a spot that's really already off the coast a little bit uh, is an area, a tropical wave, if you will, uh, that the Hurricane Center is going to keep an eye on. I've got one more to show you that a tropical wave a little bit further out. So this is about halfway across the Atlantic from the African coast over to the Caribbean, and it's another a little spot here. We're trying to get a little bit more organized, but it's just not there yet. And for the next couple of days, neither of these spots really look favorable for development. But when you look at the bigger picture of things and where it might be in that three to five day range, that's kind of what we're looking at. So here are the areas of potential development from the Hurricane Center. Again, these X's are representing where their waves are currently located. And because the X is not already in the shaded area, that's telling us that we're not expecting anything for the next couple of days. But once these X's, the tropical waves, get into the shaded areas here in yellow, that's where the potential for development could be taking place. And both of these are pretty low right now. Uh, this is going to be a 20% chance uh, in the next uh, three next five days, but zero next two days, so three to five days. And then I literally did a cut and paste on this box and put it over here to say the same thing about this area in the next couple of days, not looking for this tropical to wave to do anything. It's just not favorable conditions. And then once it gets a little further, the chances are pretty low. Still, we're looking at a 20% chance. So there's definitely a couple spots out there that the Hurricane Center is monitoring only a 20% chance, pretty low over the next five days. So that's all good news. We're not going to make any complaints about the, the quiet pattern that we're finding ourselves in here in the middle of September of our hurricane season. It'd be great if you wanted to connect with me. I'd like to hear from you on social media. I'm at John Dawson Fox 26. I use all the these a little bit differently, but the Instagram is probably the best way that you want to reach out with me and we can interact a little bit more. Plus, this is where I put a lot of that hurricane preparedness uh, products and things like that. So if you want to look me up at John Dawson, and Fox 26, that would be great. And the Fox 26 weather app, also a great feature to have on your smartphone if you want to get that. And you don't have to be in the Houston area to really take advantage of many of the, the features that are found there. Thanks for finding us today. As always, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon with another look at the tropics.